Hello everybody, it is Lee Spoy here and welcome back to another Pokemon video. Today, we're going to go through my recent purchases of this week. Pokemon related, of course. So let's get straight into it. We have this box from the Pokemon Center to open up. So let's get this thing open. Alright, so as we take things out of this box, we have... A Zamazentatin. So... Today isn't going to be a crazy video with tons of packs. Uh, those are going to come soon, I promise, but today it won't be. But we did make a few purchases, so, you know, it's going to be a different type of video. We have the Zamazenta tin. We have this pack of Pokemon cards that I'm not going to show you what's inside yet, but I purchased this online. And also a single card right here, which I will show you later. And this, Pokemon Classics. I actually want to open up this first. So this is definitely not what you usually see when you order something from Pokemon. So we're going to open it up and I'm going to show you guys what it is. It's something that I've been needing for a while because my other one is very broken. And here it is. It is a Charizard wallet. Look at that. I thought it was super cool, super nice design. I could put my Moolah in here. And I don't know, it's just a very subtle... Pokemon wallet and I thought it was sick so I invested in this one because this is my current one and it is literally falling to pieces right now so yeah Pokemon wallet super cool investment for me it's something that I needed um so decided to pick that up and I suppose we'll go through the single packs we'll go through the single packs right now first up do I have sleeves with me I do indeed have sleeves. Alright, we're good. Let's open these bad boys up. And there we go. Open. Oh, these are sleeved up already. Thank you. Alright. So, we have a Meloetta um, promo card. Alright. So, let's check the condition of these cards. Meloetta. Not bad at all, you know. There's a nick right up there. Or it could just be dirt. Or like a some some type of little dust. Um, but other than that, I mean the card's in great condition. I believe there's two Pidgeot EXs. Yep, two Pidgeot EXs, both in very good condition as well. A Genesect full art card right here. Some dents over here, but overall not horrible. Yep, Genesect. And then these two promo cards that I haven't seen before, I decided to pick them up. And the condition on these, of course, I'm guessing they're going to be at least above average the near mint. Gem mint, because this person seems to take care of their cards. So those were my few little pickups. Um, they're cards that I've never seen before, other than the Pidgeot EX and the Genesect Full Art. Um, so I was like, I'm, I'm going to pick them up. And now, here's just a single card that I decided to purchase. It's a little older. And it's a dark Arbok Hollow. Not a first edition. You don't see the stamp there, but Dark Arbok Hollow. Super cool design. It came in super nice condition when it comes to no nicks. I mean there's like one down there. Centering may not be great. I don't think it's good at all actually, but it's definitely a super cool pickup and I got it for a super good price, so I was like, I'll pick it up. So yeah, those were a few investments, a few little things that I bought to, uh, this week. But now, obviously, I know a lot of you guys love opening packs. So let's get straight into that. I've actually never opened a, a Zamazenterization tin. Um, they're at every store. But when I was buying the wallet, I was like, you know what? I might as well just buy some form of packs. And these were the only ones that were available because obviously Champion's Path is readily impossible to get <laughs> unless you're buying online or going to a reselling um, outlet all right so here we are Zamazenta cool super cool design actually I don't think I ever took the time out to appreciate it when I was looking at these packs uh, looking at the tin I like a target and stuff so we're gonna try and neatly take out the promo card uh, that's probably the best I could do. All right, there we go. Centering isn't horrible. 
Oh, on the back, it's really bad. Look at that. Horrible centering on the back. But that's fine. All right, we're gonna put that to the side. I actually can't find my sleeves anymore now that I said I had them. They just, oh, found them. Never mind, we're good. We got sleeves. All right, let's sleeve this bad boy up. Let's clear the table a bit and I'll come back. All right, so now that we have cleared the table, I'm just gonna close up the tin. Close up the tin. <laughs> Show you guys a 360 view. There you go. And we get five packs in here. So five packs to go through today. Not a bad amount at all. And I'm gonna keep dropping this, oh my God. Okay, so Zamazenta is in the back. The packs that we will be opening today are Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, Sword Shield base set, Burning Shadows and XY Evolutions. So. As you guys know, the prices of cards have been absolutely skyrocketing because of recent events, and XY Evolutions is one of the sets that have been reaching crazy amounts of prices on eBay, and if you guys have any XY Evolutions cards, please keep them in good condition because it looks like the prices are getting a little out of hand in that set because it is a reprint of the base set so i'm gonna guess fire energy steel all right so rebel clash pack air balloon pokey kid heat more score bunny sinisty maractus pikachu galarian meowth reverse hollow bisharp and a frost moth hollow so our first opening back we get a frost moth hollow in our first pack so not bad at all let's leave that up and bam put that in the back not a bad pack at all let's push these bulky cards to the side and let's open up another pack it's going to be another rebel clash so let's do that and yeah the price of these pokemon cards are insane right now um it's honestly hard to believe and for people who have opened cards for a long time like me, um, you guys have probably never would have thought that the prices would reach this amount. I mean, a reverse hollow Charmeleon alone from XY Evolutions is $100. And that is a, what, a common card, uncommon card? It is, it's not anything to go too crazy about. You probably have a lot in your collection if you open XY Evolutions. But yeah, you get that in a PSA 10 and that's $150 right there for you. For anybody interested in the money aspect investment aspect of pokemon card collecting so nothing in that second pack of barbarical regular rare we have another another rebel clash before we get to the sun and moon and xy evolution packs i did see the uh code card last time so i'm not going to Look at it this time, I saw by accident the second pack. I knew I wasn't gonna get anything good, hence why I talked through the whole thing. And... All right, so, Masquerain, Voltorb, Growlithe, Treepy, Snover, Bionicle, First Hall of Vullaby, and Milo, again! That is my second full art Milo. Okay, hold on, let's get the sleeve out. That's crazy because the last video that I uploaded, the last pack opening that I did, I also got a Milo. So I guess it's like a welcome back. We got Milo, look at that. And I mean, this is one of the most perfect cards I've seen. Like this has to be a 10, look at that. Wow, oh my God. Yeah, everything's perfect. That is definitely a 10, no doubt about it. All right, we're gonna put Milo in the back. And there we go, we get a full art and a hollow with three packs in. That is not a bad opening at all, especially for the first one back. Now let's get into Burning Shadows, where there is a Charizard available. So we'll see if we get lucky, but that is uh, something that people have hunted down for way too long. But a man can dream. So we have Steel Energy, Wick, Escape Rope, Bouffalant, Noi Bat, Horsey. Lolan Vulpix, Sneasel, Venipede, Reverse Auto Bodybuilding Dumbbells, and 
a Heracross regular rare. All right, nothing too crazy in that pack. But now we have XY Evolutions. If we even just get a Pikachu in this, I will be satisfied because even a Pikachu in a PSA 10, a common card is 30 bucks or more right now. So for a common card, that is insane. Let's open this up. Code card, go away. One, two, three from the back in XY. And let's go. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Porygon, Full Heal, Ghastly, Caterpie, Drowsy, Magikarp, Electabuzz, ooh, Ninetales Break card, okay, I do not have this card, I know a lot of people aren't fans of Break cards, but something different, and the final is a Arcanine, regular rare, so a Ninetales Break to end off this pack opening, not bad at all, I'm going to be putting the prices of the raw card and the PSA 10 card price of each of the pulls that I get. I didn't realize the Frost Moth fell. But I mean, I'll quickly show you guys. We have the Frost Moth, Ninetales Break card, Milo, and the Zamazenta. So for five packs, we get four cards worth sleeving in return. That is not bad at all by any means. And yeah, that's going to be the video. It's a little short one, but... You know, we made a few investments. We got the Dark Arbok. I'll put the prices of the Dark Arbok on the screen as well. It definitely won't be a PSA 10, though. I can tell you that. And we got a few tins. We got a wallet. This is just a little starting opening for the things to come because there are going to be some insane openings soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video because there's going to be a lot more coming and a lot more big hitters. So just stay tuned. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Comment if you have any recommendations. If any of you guys want to be in a video. If any of you guys want a certain card. We could definitely work something out. Thank you for all the support. And I hope to be coming back 10 times stronger. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.